good morning from downtown Tampa, Florida. We're down by Amelie Arena this morning, but we're not here to see the lightning. Off in the distance, NHL playoffs. In the foreground, Tampa Bay Rays. Heading into Channel Side. This is our final destination of the day. The Starship Yacht. A little Father's Day brunch. We're heading on in. Go Bolts. We're heading up. Second deck. Oh well, our table is right next to the door. And we can get our food on. Let's take a look at what they got. Vegetables, potatoes, mac and cheese, barbecue chicken, flat iron steak, glazed salmon, sausage, bacon, grits, eggs, Ooh, waffles and toppings, muffins and fruit, shrimp and salad, trip one, Park. Look at downtown Tampa. Father's Day, you get two drinks included in your price for the dads out there. So you got a strawberry margarita, and they also have $10 bottomless mimosas for lunch. Cranberry mimosa, delicious, little logo. We are all sealed up, and away we go. The food was amazing, by the way. I will say this boat takes off really quick compared to the paddle boat that we were just on for dinner a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Passing by Sparkman Wharf. Really awesome place to hang out downtown. To the right of Sparkman Wharf is the ship, cargo ship from Vietnam Warrior that made it through World Wars and hosts undead in the water every Halloween. Haunted adventure on the ship. It's amazing. I'm the king of the world! And away we go. I went in my living right over there. Yeah. These Coast Guard ships out here. Whoa, look at that plane come in. And look at that view. Wow, that's gorgeous. viewing area here. This is also mostly a little swing. This is the view from the second level of the ship. Round two, an hour ago I had breakfast and now I'm having lunch. The steak is delicious as well. This is our current view. these houses for sale right now and they go for about two million to four million dollars each. 
These houses are gorgeous and there's no denying that they deserve a premium price. But you're also in a flood zone. And your insurance for hurricanes must be enormous. Look at that guy. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous houses. People are parked in the street. Tampa General Hospital. Look at that ship in the distance. Got a little Bucks boat out here. I mean, I wouldn't mind owning one of these. A little bit better than the inflatable kayak. Just passing by the downtown dock area. A year and a half ago, right in this area, was the pirate ship that was stationed here for the Super Bowl. Convention center off in the left-hand distance. We're now heading down the same waterway that Gasparilla comes from, and if you take the pirate cruise, the Lost Pearl it goes up this way also. And I don't know how far we'll go here, but this is like kind of like millionaire row of houses. This is where like Stamkos and Brady and so forth bought places or rented places. This is also where during COVID lockdown, the jet ski sessions were taking place. So you start to get a view of these houses here that are just unbelievable to begin with, but then check out the size of the yacht that's outside the house. These houses run four million plus, by the way, if you think that Florida is cheap at all. Sports figures and entertainers need to live somewhere. And if it's not Miami, it's here. Look at this house. I'm sure I can make that work. This house, by the way, is valued at $11.2 million. And you can have that as your view in the back. There is quite a bit of vegetation there, though, to block it. And we're making the turn. So these townhouses run about a million plus. And the fun thing is, is that they are facing east instead of west, so you're not getting sunset views here. Well, we have 15 minutes left before we are docked. This has been pretty awesome. Your review? This was amazing. Got this complex over here with the guy with no shirt on and the electric bike. And this stuff over here. Super thin condo building. Could be like railroad apartments in New York where everything just goes one long way. Emily Arena over here. Starship 2, sister ship over here of the yacht that we're on. We want to get on these ships forever. We always see them at Gasparilla and at the boat parades for the Champa Bay teams. This is a definite repeat trip though, for sure. You could rent these out for private affairs and corporate events and things like that as well. And in the smaller vessel is behind the Starship 2. We're in the Starship 1. So people ask me all the time about places to move in Central Florida and what about Daytona and New Smyrna and stuff. And this area just destroys all of that in my mind. We've looked before at kind of like condos that were up the road from Amelie. Very cost prohibitive, but maybe if Jess is out on her own and we're just like downsizing, it's almost the same amount of money or practically the same amount of money as what it would cost to live in New York City, but you have all of this waterfront. And for those of us that enjoy beverages outdoors in Florida, in the warm weather, 12 months out of the year for the most part, we can't really beat this. They're getting ready for us to come in. Walking back over towards Emily. So what's your final review? Oh, uh, that was pretty awesome. I thought it was fantastic. Yes. The best out of the dinner voyages that we've been on so far. You pay what you can, yeah, you get what you pay for. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Savannah would come in a second. It was just, Savannah would be second for the aesthetic, but the yacht, was the scenery was awesome. The food was top notch. Food was amazing. The guy going by on his one wheel, <laughs> really making me regret not leaving it in the back of the van. So for now, we're getting out of here. See you later, Tampa. 
Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. We will be back to do this again, whether it's on the 4th or Halloween Whatever. or something. That was awesome. See you guys.